Um, well, and this kind of leads to, I think, one of the next biggest mistakes mm -hmm. I think sellers are making is, you know, two years ago, if your house had a door and heat, it was going to sell, you know, no matter what was on the inside of it. Yeah. Someone was going to buy it, and it probably still was going to be a bidding war. So I think some sellers have taken the foot off the gas and maybe let some things linger that shouldn't have lingered. You know what it is now? The seller is adamant about selling as is. Mm. As is. And, you know, every house is sold as is anyway. I mean, that right. doesn't really mean a whole lot, but they don't want to do any repair. They don't want to do anything anymore. You need to Y'all got lazy. Yes, you need to reset <laughs> that expectation. You know, when someone says to me, I want to sell as is, okay, I understand your intent and I think and where you're coming from this. But I think, especially in a market like this, if you set that expectation off the bat, I think you're going to scare some people away because people heard all these stories about people buying homes without inspections and the nightmares that happen <laughs> as a result of, of that. And there's yeah. been a lot of news, you know, and they were isolated instances, you know, but the squeaky wheels, you know, get the, yeah. the, the public, uh, the publicity. Well, I mean... And so that's what you see in here in the news. I think now that the market has slowed down, first of all, if you don't have multiple offers, you're probably not going to be able to, as a seller, impart your will about what the buyer's going to do with the inspection, right. right? If your house has been on the market a couple weeks, you have no other offers, you don't have any leverage. So what I tell sellers about the as is thing is I think we really need to gauge 